I can say that it has uh, made visible something that we all knew, that we all were aware of, but it has given us the words and the imagery in which we can now express what happened to all of us. So I think uh, that the power of the movie is that, and it was, uh, I'm sure you've all watched it. And we'll discuss it, of course. I'll be uh, asking all of you to uh, ask questions. But I'll take the liberty of asking a few questions first. And today, I want to start with you and talk about this incredible journey, which has not stopped. You, you made the film, and then the two of you have been traveling, correct me if I'm not wrong, since the 2nd of November. You've been going from city to city, country to country, taking this film, talking about it, and just exploring what it is meant to be. Thank you, thank you, Kaveri. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you, wonderful uh, students. Um, it just I saw all of them, and I remember my college days when teachers would say, "Tali bajao, tali bajao, tali bajao." So, Okay, so um, um, see, we start actually we started this journey uh, four years ago. Uh, we started in 2018 and we started traveling, meeting all the first generation victims. It was one of the most challenging and difficult tasks. I have in my three films since 2010, I realized in this country, the most difficult thing is research. Nobody cares about research. Nobody uh, uh, gives you respect if you do research. And for a film, if you are doing research, forget outsiders, the film, in film industry, everybody says, you are stupid, you know. And that's what people thought that I was stupid. Why am I making these kind of films? Uh, but ultimately, we were making it for a reason. In 2010, I mentally resigned from Bollywood because I I realized that I was not a young boy who didn't know. I had spent most of my time in advertising. I uh, had worked with some of the best brands in the world, and I went to Harvard. So why I'm taking this name because I knew my job. But I realized in film industry, uh, this is the only industry in the entire world, in this planet, which has zero penny budget for research and development. Bollywood spends zero percent on budgets. Second biggest problem with the industry is though it's involved in the commerce, but the biggest problem is it assumes it works on the on the on the very strong belief that audiences are dumb. And therefore, they keep dumping down their movies. A package karke, char paanth, das achhi chizon ko package karke bech do. Abhi ye jo South Indian film ka bhi aap log jo sun rahe, don't get carried away. They are not great films. They are just working because there is a hype. So, so we said we will change this. And how will you change it without anybody's support? Pallavi and I started our journey, uh, our journey in 2010. In 2010. From making huge, big-budgeted films, multi-star films, I went on to make a one crore rupee film with students in Indian School of Business in Hyderabad. And 
we made a film called Buddha in a Traffic Jam, which was stuck for five six years, and ultimately it released up from 2010. It released in 2016, despite being nominated in Mami and all those things. Everybody discarded that. Film. Then I said, okay, just because it's been shot on camera doesn't mean that it's a feature film. It's a story. Let me take it to universities, and I traveled door to door, campus to campus. Despite a lot of resistance, nobody understood the meaning of that film. Everybody uh, in the film industry or experts of films and the intellectuals, they said what everybody laughed at me. But then I wrote a book called Urban Nexus on that, which is a legitimate word, word and whether people like it or not, you go and ask anybody, a common person and he knows what I am talking about. Then I made, we made a film called uh, The Tashkent Files, which was based on Lava. So everybody thinks the film was about Labhato Shastri, but actually the film was about our democracy, and which even the best of the critics fail to uh, recognize. Because when Pallavi and I we were sitting and we said, what are these three lines? Aapko pata na jo Bharat ka emblem hai, usme teen shere hai. So we said, which are these three lines? And we said that these three lines are basically they are protecting democracy. So what? Why three? Why not one? So we said, okay, these three lines mean. One is truth, second is justice, third is life. So a democracy should protect truth, should deliver justice, and should be answerable for your life, should protect your life. And in that we had a trilogy plan, which was the Kashmir Files, became the second film, and my next film is the Delhi Files. So when we made the Tashkan Files, I've been traveling, you have seen traveling, I go give speeches, I've never charged a penny for anything. I just sometimes go on my own to colleges, campuses, because I want to create as much awareness as possible about these kind of cinema, these kind of films. So 2018 we started this journey. We met all the victims of uh, yes, 700. Yeah, yeah. 700. Actually, we have met, met thousands and thousands of people, but. That's the recorded videos, but despite that, I've spoken to a lot of people, read a lot. So non-stop, we have been traveling America, mein, UK, mein, or sorry, Hindustan, mein sab jaga, travel kar kar ke logon ke video testimonials and record kiye. Uska tamam logon se mil mil ke research kiya after film bani, which was COVID bhi aaya. Or jab se, uh, phir, uh, haan, then in November, we started screening the film. Uh, in US. Much before it's released. Yeah, which much is before. a very rare thing for a filmmaker to do. Yeah, I am told I was in US and when I was in Hollywood, so a friend of mine who was a DOP and he was telling me that in the history of cinema, yeah. never before any director has gone and shown his film to so many people without being scared. What will happen? Here, people are very scared. They don't show the film in the film. They don't show negative uh, publicity. Yeah. Na but we were confident because uh, it's, it's not my story. The story was written in people's lives. So we have just picked those stories and put weave them together. So now we are invited by British Parliament and at Oxford and at Pathe in Amsterdam, then Human Rights Commission in Switzerland. So, so many places we are traveling again. So I am going to Bombay and then to Kerala and then to England. So we are traveling day and night. We are not sleeping, Pallavi. I have never seen any producer working so hard as Pallavi is doing. Okay, and हमने मैंने कभी भी आज तक tweet नहीं किया, figure figures मुझे पता भी नहीं है क्या कोई पूछे कितना business आ रहा है, I have no idea. लोगों को पता है ना, that's what matters. But the biggest thing I want to do is I want the youth of this country to to realize that unless and until you understand that. Any kind of violence, terrorism, basically not just destroys lives, but it destroys the entire culture and diversity uh, of a great civilization, yeah. your heritage, and 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 makes your life bad. Unless all of you collectively stand up and fight that, then there can you cannot ensure a good future. So that's why we are running around. Thank right. you. Uh, I come to uh, uh, you know why you always cast Pallavi as the antagonist later. <laughs> And she's always either playing uh, an urban maxim. No, no, she's always playing an urban maxim. Poor, poor woman. But um, Pallavi, I want to ask you, what is it like to share this kind of passion and to share this kind of um, a bond 
uh, with someone who you're married to as well. But what is it like? और जब भी आपके ग्रुप के सामने मैं आती हूँ आपका एंथुजियाजम देख के मुझे भी अपना मैं कभी कभी अपनी एज भूल जाती हूँ सो थैंक्स You know, I uh, when Vivek and I met actually, हम लोगों ने कुछ तीन चार साल से हम एक दूसरे के बारे में सुन रहे थे, लेकिन हम बहुत एक दूसरे से मिलना avoid कर रहे थे क्यों? क्योंकि ये advertising में थे, मैं फिल्मों में काम करती थी, तो मुझे लगता था कि advertising वाले होंगे तो you know normally advertising वालों के बारे में हमें ऐसा लगता था कि बहुत arrogant होंगे, they must have a chip on their shoulder. तो मैंने कहा कौन में ले आए इस वे� Vivek ko laga Pallavi Joshi, haa, ho film hi hogi, usse kyo mele. So about four years we avoided meeting each other. But then the rest is history. When we finally met, we realized that hamaari dono ke jo thoughts te, dusre ke baare mein bilkul khanet te. And I couldn't have asked for a better, you know, partner to be with. Because our house is a mad house. I can imagine. With, you know, with the kind of energy that we have. इनको तो सुलाना पड़ता है रात को और सुबह सुबह साढ़े पांच में हाँ अरे नहीं मैं हाथ पकड़ के कहती हूँ भी सो जाओ तुम भी देख ना एट लीस्ट स्लीप फॉर फाइव आवर्स नहीं तो बीमार पड़ जाओगे तो इनके साथ साथ हमारे बच्चे भी वैसे हो गए दरअसल इट कश्मीर फाइल्स वाज अ वेरी गुड डिसीजन फॉर अस तो मैंने so, our children don't think that what our parents have done with us without us. So, I involved my kids in it. And they understood the whole thing. We have told them about the whole of Kashmir. And we have only understood that they have to do their work. And both of them, you know, worked in the capacity of assistants. And they have to do their work as the college students. They have to do their work as the college students. They have to do their work as the college students. This is a very twisted mind. All his loved ones are always playing the antagonist. So this is I. We are all, you know, all four of us now. Kids wanting to do something else in life, but as they grow up, I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Right. So, दोनों ही इस field में आ गए हैं. So our daughters, girls, son and daughter. So my daughter is elder. Both of them are in college, so they are both working. And we work with each other. So the discussions we have here, they will be very interesting. Our dinner table will be very interesting. Absolutely. And all of you have the same view in life, politically? No, 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 no. We are all different people. So Sri Kashmir really believes in Sri Kashmir? No. I think it's not free Kashmir, but हाँ एक थोड़ा सा उस तरफ थोड़ा सा बिहार हो रहे थे लेकिन as you know how it happens in institutes yeah but I think after hearing the story of Kashmir from us I think I I'm very proud to say that they know the right from wrong now right so what is it why are you always either playing a cross between Nivedita Menon and Arundhati Roy which I think Radhika Menon is or someone similar this is really unfair, no? Or fair, whatever. See, I'll tell you what. In this film particularly, there were only two roles which I could have played, either Sharda or Professor Menon. Now, Sharda, Vivek always had in mind that he wants to cast a Kashmiri Pandit because Kashmiri was not in the same way. And that whole culture is what you need to see in his character. Of course, I would have, in the capacity of an actor, worked very hard to look like a Kashmiri and I would say it. But then we found Bhasha. And she was absolutely perfect for the character. So after that, there was only one character left and I had a lot of fun. Yes, I love that. I think you could see that even Glint in my attitude. Because today, the characters you have seen, I've always been very nice, very sweet. In fashion fashion, also you were the liberal. Yes, I was liberal, but I wasn't so violent. No, Kashmir fans. But in this, 
because I was doing something that was not expected out of me and I tried to make a character a little bit of a human I thought that it would be different from her life to her life Otherwise, if you look at her She is a wonderful woman 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 You know, I mean, what a wonderful woman she is But I see Radhika Mahalo I would like to meet her Yes, I would like to meet her Politics was not that way though. So that's how I, you know, went around, went about thinking. And then, who, just तरह से वो brainwash करने लगती है उसको बहुत प्यार से कि हाँ बच्चा लेकिन ये भी तो इसे आप कैसे करते हैं तो आई थोड़ा that made a very exactly and maybe I wanted to bring you in here because you once told me that you are now in a country called 3.0. There was in a country called 1.0 who was 1.0 who was a bit like Krishna Pandey, you were saying a bit confused. So, when you were in college, you were in IIMCB, if I'm not mistaken, which is extremely close to a university that we know, JNU. So, what were you like? Were you confused politically and is Krishna a little bit of you? Yeah, in all these three films, if you see, the protagonists are very much like me. Yeah, very much like me. Even Shweta of Kashmir Files is very much like me. She's very curious and she wants to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in college, I mean, I went to government college. Which one? In Bhopal, in Bhopal University, you know. So, MBM and then School of Social Sciences in Bhopal. So, generally, this kind of thing, you can do humanities. Yeah, or tiny, tiny, tiny. And the government universities are very different from private universities because they have elections, they have politics, and then national political parties also run their own outfits there, you know. So, were you politically active? No, I am a son of freedom fighters. Both my parents were Gandhians and they wore khadi till their last breath. But, uh, yeah, yeah. And I became my father was a professor and then vice chancellor. But then, uh, what happens is when you come from such idealistic families, you want to break away from them. Right. And Indian middle class families are generally very idealistic. Uh, if, I don't know fathers so much, but mothers are always talking about great values, you have to be like this, you have to be like this, let the other person hurt you, you don't hurt anybody, they uh, instill values of sacrifice. So you grow up when you go to college, you think, you know, why should I sacrifice when nobody is sacrificing? Why should I only get the worst part of the pie? And no, if everybody is corrupt, I am also going to be part of that system. So when I was growing up, that time, uh, nationalism was at its peak in 80s, you know, in Madhya Pradesh and I became part of the same politics and same group, I fought elections also. So, in a way I was urban Nexel, not in a way I was an urban Nexel and I, we were throwing stones on buses, going to jail, not letting the classes run, you know, so all that I have done. Teacher, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? So, I did. This is the journey, it's interesting. Yeah, but I did all that. And then once I joined advertising, and then I realized that why don't we teach enterprise to our students rather than always complaining? And that is the problem. And anger. And anger. Yeah. Un and most of the anger is unchanneled and unreasonable anger. Yeah. You cannot be angry about everything in this world. So what happened somewhere? See, I believe that if during partition, yes, we divided India and Pakistan, but also we created a line between India and Bharat. We created an artificial India, which actually does not address the real real problems of Bharat. Now, a lot of intellectuals and uh, uh, thinkers are addressing all the students of India. How youth should be. You dissent, freedom of expression and all those kind of things. But the youth which is sitting over here is absolutely different. Their aspirations, their concerns are different. Then they, we have created a superficial India uh, which is students of the year. Not even one student like that exists. And we started marketing these ideas, selling these ideas, and we said these are the correct and the only ideas. A film should be made only like this, otherwise we'll destroy you. It's called the revitalization of Bollywood. Yeah. 
so i also became then from there there from uh, maximalism i jumped then to capitalism then i started making these big budget commercial films same thing that okay this ma aisi hoti hai ab tum sab mano ma aisi hoti hai the student aisa hi hota hai so again that fluffy life and running after greed and uh, assuming that audience is stupid but then when i was sitting for 4 5 years after buddha in a traffic jam i traveled a lot i traveled in deep into indian small towns villages middle class and i realized that this india is ready to implode this is a new india it's ready for any kind of song and it's very important to believe that people are really very intelligent and they will understand kashmir files was a big no no i mean who would have thought so 3.0 is i am not running i am not part of capitalism and i am not part of that national politics or communist politics or those all i i want that indian youth should believe in enterprise believe in efficiency productivity and pick up the native intelligence and work on that rather than borrowed intelligence from the west that's what this people see do Uh, the, the amazing success of Kashmir Files. Uh, of course, it has taught you that people are not stupid, which you knew already. What else has it taught you in the way you travel with it, in the way you show it to people? That people are also ready to to um, to feel other people's pain, isn't it? Really? You know that that idea that we had that this generation is not an empathy; it doesn't feel. people want to share pain also we want to share something yeah and see i never had confusion that people don't have empathy that's a very western american concept exactly. because they don't have empathy so they <laughs> keep talking about empathy we are naturally we have lot of empathy i i don't have that problem but no, yes no, there has to be role in it ha but my learning i would like to share with you and this is something you will not understand maybe now but some day this what i am telling you you will appreciate it nothing in this world happens because of only your efforts if if something something like the kashmir files happens is because of millions of blessings of people and blessing doesn't mean you go and touch somebody's feet and somebody says okay beta aashirwad that's not blessing blessings come when you do good karmas when you do good things you keep getting a lot of invisible blessings and this film is a result of not blessings to me do not understand i mean don't misunderstand that it's the blessings which came to me is the blessings which came to all the victims of that genocide the people who had to leave their houses still they kept telling their children please get educated get educated and they educated them they not even once told them to go and take revenge and the recovery you will be surprised to know when i research i don't know if i told you or not i was looking for hate or literature no there is no hatred there is no hate literature no. i mean kahi to koi gali likhta ho buri baat likhta ho there is no hate literature but if you look at the conflicts of the world if you look at uh, jew christian conflict or jew islamic conflict or islam christian conflict or america versus russia conflict you know any kind of conflict there is so much of hate literature people write hateful essays go kill them destroy them they have done this but in kashmiri hindu society there is no hate literature and which is why i am sure their neighbors people they came in contact with must be blessing them all the time and those blessings finally have come together and they have manifested in this world this is my belief and i've experienced it things which have happened are of divine nature you can't explain them like divine you can't explain so many things have happened in this film i'm writing a book on it now kashmir genocide and i will write down you won't believe everything which has happened in this film is divine as if somebody else was making it happen there are some instances if you can uh okay let's begin the, the origin i was in houston for some business meeting and one guy told me that uh, uh do you want there is somebody uh, who wants to make a film on kashmir 
सो वेन यू नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कम आई इंट्रोड्यूस एट फोन पे तो बात कर लीजिए एंड दिस इज अ डॉक्टर डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र कॉल हु वर्क्स अबाउट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी माइल्स अवे फ्रॉम देयर सो ही कॉल्ड हिम एंड ही सेट विवेक इज यर एट लीस्ट लेट मी कनेक्ट बोथ ऑफ यू एंड ही सेट वेर इज ही सो ही सेट दिस होटल वी आर हियर ही सेट ओ आई एम जस्ट आउटसाइड आई विल बी देयर इन फाइव and he came and he asked me why don't you make a film on uh, our genocide i said no 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 it's not going to work and all that but when i was coming back i said i should make this film then there was no money there was no producer nothing was there things were getting finalized but everything started happening on its own bits and pieces money also then we also organized and things but let me let me give you what is divine intervention now divine intervention is Uh, in 1990, the lake, the lake froze entirely, fully, 100 percent. Never froze after that. In bits and pieces, small uh, places, but not the whole thing. So from Dehradun, we were going to Kashmir to shoot, and at Delhi, we were told you can't go because there's a snowstorm. So whole day we sat at Delhi airport, we couldn't go. After that, we came back to Mumbai. From Mumbai, once we took off, the whole unit was stuck in Amritsar, came back at night. Then once we were stuck in Bombay Airport, but finally when the all the snowstorm everything ended and we reached there on that very day, that the lake froze completely. The shots which you see we shot over there. We had to make our way in and no shikaras were. And the day we left from there, after that all the snow was also gone. So as if it was they created God created a set for Thanks us for four five days, you know, <laughs> things like that. Second thing is. uh we were shooting on 17th of march we were going to shoot in kashmir on 17th of march but then lockdown was announced yeah, okay. 22nd but we got to know on the 7th 16th itself that yes there was going to be some kind of a lockdown so we stayed back we didn't go thank god we didn't go it gave us suddenly one day i said no i am not doing it right i i i First we said, okay, everybody, all the characters are going to be Kashmiri Pandit actors, and whole. I said, no, I am not sincere to it. Why should I bother whether the actors are going to be Kashmiri Pandits or not? This is a PR plug. This is a very Bollywood way of thinking. We dropped everybody and we revised it. In one two days, I rewrote the entire script. We did the entire fresh casting, and then we went to shoot. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, but why did you feel that was necessary? Because because we were playing to the gallery just okay. to say hey listen I work with all Kashmiri I am so genuine and sincere right. maker right. so I I wanted to get rid of all this baggage and we made up we surrendered to the stories without adding a word in fact every word in the film is not written by me it's people like you who told me or people like Yasin Malik who have said this in public yeah so I mean or Vita Karate or Vita Karate yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, We we don't see Jagmohan, which is the only thing that uh, we don't see. But that's because he was not there on the nineteenth of January. No, no, because no, that's one reason. But then uh, I I I uh, picked up a large, huge portion from his book with his permission. Okay. Right. Before so he was away. yeah before he passed away. Before that. So if I had included Jagmohan, it was like Jagmohan endorsing himself right. in the film. Right. It, I didn't know that he is going to die. I didn't know when I was making the film, but he died while we were making it. So that was a, a deliberate decision that okay, we'll keep him away. It's like Gandhi making the film and endorsing himself in a film. So that's that was. Right. Yeah. So Palmi, what was your reaction when you were told you were going to play this uh, character? Who did you base it on, and where it came from? Uh, well, uh, it was pictures of Arundhati Roy with uh, Yasin Malik, which have been circulating. Uh, See when I got to know that I'm playing Kavi the man, uh, for a minute I was actually very concerned because this all these seven hundred testimonies that I collected, I think I interviewed almost two hundred of them. Really? Yes. And it was uh, what was it like? I uh, hope and pray that nobody has to go through such kind of a painful and traumatic. Uh, Because also, the thing is, Padmi, I want to bring this to you because uh, this is a pain that has been hidden from public view for a long time. A lot of Padmis themselves have not acknowledged it. Right? They have not said the words, not even to their children. They have protected their children from it. So, getting them to talk uh, is almost an act of art. 
What was that like? I'll tell you the stories about them. Those are the horror stories that we heard. I don't even want to repeat them here because uh, it's too painful to even talk about it. But every single person that we spoke to broke down while he or she was talking to us. And they did break down because of the pain, which was the strangest thing. That, you know, still tears uh, me up every time I talk about it. The reason they would cry, the only reason they said in these last 32 years, nobody came and asked us what you went through. Nobody bothered to find out what kind of horrible episodes we went through. And you were the first people who were coming and talking to us, who asking me, and you said, And, uh, you know, when you hear accounts, which are so horrible, about women especially, about little children. It, it just shakes your soul completely. And after having done this entire research and reading the script, there is of course the terrorist in the film. Yeah. But there is this woman who is more wild. She's not picked up the guns and uh, any gun in her hand, but I think she's firing the most bullets. You know? So for me, I think I took up that challenge because I thought that somewhere I am, I have understood that pain very well. I have been living with that pain for the you know, past four years. And this is my time for redemption. Let me, uh, I, I owe it to the Kashmiri Pandit community by showing this wide face of uh, women, you know, who have, who carry this kind of narrative in the society. And of course, as you rightly said, it's based on a professor and you are very fiery activist who's acting in completely. But when making uh, the character, of course, I used a lot of other... Uh, oh, it's like a shop. Yes, I mean, I, I had somewhere seen uh, Brinda, uh, you know, talking. So I liked the style of talking. So I took some from there, 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 I took so I made a complete character. Getting into Pajami's mind of this will be very interesting. <laughs> but that last picture yeah. at Bitta Karate's house where yeah. she's holding his hand. Yeah. That, that is, is a very famous problem. picture on the internet yeah. and I, we wanted to, you know, keep it as yeah. well. Vivek, uh, your, your thoughts on this, the, 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 just the, the part where you listen to these stories, you know. What was, what was that like? Oh, that, that, uh, see when we started, so Pallavi, we decided that Pallavi will do all human stories like uh, if somebody's raped or father's been killed, they have cut into pieces. And I'll do more cultural, political stories because like Mr. Potedar, he's, uh, he talks a lot about culture and all, and a lot of people talk about politics. So, uh, in U we started in US. So Pallavi first few days, two, three days are itself. She's crying when they are crying. Pallavi was also crying and she was crying all the times. So one day and next day, I after three days, four days, I was supposed to interview. So I told Pallavi, hey, listen, we are filmmakers and uh, you have to be very objective and detached from it. You cannot get involved with the people you are interviewing. I mean, then you start thinking like them and you'll be biased. So please stop this crying business. It's, don't do that. And she agreed intellectually and next day it was my turn to take the interview and it was a political interview uh, and you won't believe me uh, I broke down while uh, doing that and for next many months our eyes were swollen every day immediately when Pali was talking her eyes were uh, moist because even now when I am talking I think about it and honestly it wasn't about murders and killings that I have dealt a lot with by making thrillers and all but it was how can for 32 years you can ignore your own brothers and sisters i felt so stupid throughout i felt as if this what is the point of this life if i don't know your pain if i don't know your suffering and that is and everybody look at the look at the look at the hypocrisy of the modern world Everybody talks about all the times, if you see, as if it's an international dharma. Everybody talks about oppression and oppressed, oppression and oppressed, all the time. 
even if things are normal, people bring oppression and oppressed glory to that. But nobody, nobody ever talked, not even one person spoke about the oppression of this human tragedy. You oppress the entire incident. And today, even, even if today you talk about it, everybody comes attacking me. Nobody has a problem with the genocide which happened. They have a problem that a film is being made on the genocide. That is the hypocrisy and that, that is something which which is very concerning to me and I don't know what I want to make next but this is something human pain is a very important aspect of our life if we cannot relate to human pain whosoever it is then we are failing as human beings but we are we are like we have no option because the channels through which we should get to know about it those channels are not concerned about it and this entire theory of that people are oppressed and they pick up guns is all fake. It's a, it's a, it's a very stupid theory because Kashmiri Pandits never picked up guns. Women don't pick up guns, they are oppressed. Yeah. I think Kashmiri Pandits just picked up some pen yeah. and uh, decided to you know, use education as their tool of empowerment. Um, questions from the audience, please. I know there are lots of people who want to ask these gentlemen. Very nice, very nice. But listen, listen, what's your name? Gohar, why do you use the word mainland India? What is mainland India? Only India. Mainland can't say it. Yet the terrorist look as a प्रॉब्लम यह है कि अगर कश्मीर में जब कुछ हो रहा था तो बंगाल में केरला में महाराष्ट्र में किसी को उससे मतलब नहीं था अभी केरला में कुछ होता है तो आपको कोई मतलब नहीं आप जहां बैठे हैं पंजाब में आपको पता है कि कश्मीर से भी ज्यादा पंजाब में कितना दर्द सहा है यू कांट इवन इमेजिन पार्टीशन से लेके पूरा का पूरा 80 पूरा 90 20 साल टेररिज्म चला गया कितने लोग मरे इसमें क्या सब हिंदू मरे सिख भी मरे पुलिस वाले भी मरे गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स भी मरे जर्नलिस्ट लोग भी मरे हर कोई मरा इंडिया की प्राइम मिनिस्टर भी मरी उसमें कौन बचा उसमें जनरल वैद्य भी मरे उसमें इतना खून खराबा के बाद हम लोगों को यह तो समझ में आना चाहिए कि सबसे पहले हम लोगों को जीरो टॉलरेंस टू वायलेंस का प्रण लेना चाहिए जीरो टॉलरेंस सबसे पहले फिजिकल वायलेंस किसी भी कीमत पे आपको कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ना चाहिए कौन सी पार्टी है क्या है कौन है जीरो टॉलरेंस टू वायलेंस जब पूरी कंट्री यूनाइट होकर बोले जीरो टॉलरेंस टू वायलेंस तो आप देखिए आपके 90% प्रॉब्लम्स ऐसे ही 
आज इंडिया का सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम यह है कि हमारा सारी प्रोडक्टिविटी और एफिशिएंसी इसलिए सफर करती है कि हम हर समय कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में ही उलझे रहते हैं तो टेक अ प्लेज नो वायलेंस एंड देन यू सी दैट लाइफ विल चेंज नमस्कार सर सर मेरा नाम अभय सिंह राजपूत है और मैं मीडिया प्रथम वर्ष का छात्र हूँ तो सर आज प्रश्न पहले मैं आपसे कहना चाहूँगा कि जिस प्रकार से आपने तस्वीर फाइल बना करके एकदम पूरे भारतीय सिनेमा जगत में एक जो नई दिशा और दिशा खड़ा इसके लिए आपको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं है और उसके बाद जिस प्रकार से आप बात कुछ समय पहले आपने कहा कि आप दिल्ली फाइल बनाए थे आपने ताशन फाइल बनाई है कश्मीर फाइल बनाई और अब आप दिल्ली फाइल बनाए तो क्या आने वाले समय में हमें गुजरात फाइल भी देखने को मिलेगी और एक मैंने पिक्चर देखी थी उसमें एक बड़ा एक डायलॉग अच्छा है पंकज त्रिपाठी जी का सेकुलरिज्म तो आपके विचारों से सेकुलरिज्म असल मायने में क्या है ओके तो सबसे पहले तो आ, सारी फाइलें बनाने का ठेका मैंने नहीं लिया है आप ही बना सकते हैं इंडिया में बहुत सारी डॉक्यूमेंट्री फीचर फिल्म पर्जा नहीं है ये बहुत सारी बन चुकी है आर्ट तो मैं जानता हूँ आर्ट के नाम तो मैं जानता हूँ तो वो बन चुकी है उसके बाद लेकिन हो सकता है कि डेली फाइल्स शायद उसको भी एड्रेस करे मुझे पता नहीं अभी लेकिन हो सकता है लेकिन अगर फिर वो एड्रेस होगा तो फिर और भी बहुत सारी चीजें एड्रेस होगी तो इसलिए दुख चीजों को डेलीकेट चीजों को सोच समझ के बात करनी चाहिए एक बात और जहां तक सेकुलरिज्म की बात है सेकुलरिज्म अपने आप में बहुत अच्छी चीज है और होना भी चाहिए जो आ, आप जितने भी फेल हैं दुनिया के या जो कुछ भी है उसको एक मॉडर्न डेमोक्रेसी में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली उसको सबको बराबर तराजू में रखा जाना चाहिए इंडिया में प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि सेकुलरिज्म बड़ी सिलेक्टिव है 100% परसेंट सिलेक्टिव है जिसको सूट करती है अपने हिसाब से सेकुलरिज्म वर्ड को यूज कर लेता है सेकुलरिज्म का मतलब लोग जनरली इस तरह से यूज करते हैं कि आ, मेरी बात सुनो बाकी सब गलत है तो मेरी लड़ाई इससे हमेशा रही है बहुत लोग मेरे समझते हैं कि मैं सेकुलरिज्म के अगेंस्ट नहीं हूँ लेकिन जिस तरह से उसको इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स में यूज किया जाता है तो उसके अगेंस्ट हूँ और सेकुलरिज्म तो हमसे ज्यादा कोई प्रैक्टिस करता भी नहीं है मैं आपको ईमानदारी से कह रहा हूँ आपको एग्जाम्पल बताता हूँ आपको मैं एक एग्जाम्पल बताता हूँ बहुत लोग मुझे एक्चुअली क्या ना लोग बाहर से देखते हैं जानते नहीं है असली जिंदगी में क्या हो रहा है काश्मीर फाइल्स में वो जो छोटे कृष्णा और जितने वो कैरेक्टर्स जो हिंदू हैं वो सब मुस्लिम लोगों ने प्ले किए हैं और जितने मुस्लिम लोग हैं वो हिंदू लोगों ने प्ले किए हैं आपको हाँ बेटा अगर आपको मराठी लड़के ने किया है और आपको मैं एक चीज और बताता हूँ ये फिल्म जब हमने लिख ली उसके बाद कश्मीर में देर बंच ऑफ यंग मुस्लिम बॉयज उससे मैंने बोला तो उसको कई शिकायतें थी वो भी ऐसे ही जैसे गौर बात कर रहा था ऐसे ही इंडिया और कश्मीर को अलग अलग बातें करते थे वो लोग कि तुम्हारे आपके इंडिया में और कश्मीर और मेन लैंड इंडिया में जैसे कोई अलग कर तो मैंने कहा तुम्हारी जितनी भी शिकायत है मैं तुम्हें प्रॉमिस करता हूँ तुम्हें पूरा सीन लिख के मुझे भेजो और मैं उनको प्रॉमिस करता हूँ बिना फुल स्टॉप और कॉमा चेंज किए उसको फिल्म में यूज कर लूंगा और जो फिल्म का सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट सीन है मेरे हिसाब से जिसके ऊपर पूरी फिल्म खड़ी होती है जब वो शिकारा में जिनने फिल्म किस किसने देखी है ओके आपने जब शिकारा में कृष्णा जब जाता है बिट्टा से मिलने शिकारा में वो अब्दुल के साथ जब जा रहा है शिकारा में तो वो जो बातें होती हैं वो पूरा का पूरा सीन एक कश्मीरी मुस्लिम लड़के ने लिखा है और उसमें जो एक्टिंग की है वो भी वही का कश्मीर का मुस्लिम लड़का है और उसने दिल से किया है वो आज भी मेरे उनसे अच्छे संबंध है सो so, मैं बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसी हम करते हैं जो बताना जरूरी नहीं है सारी दुनिया को लेकिन मैं आपको ये कह रहा हूं ये सेकुलरिज्म जो है ये सेकुलरिज्म हुआ कि नहीं हुआ मतलब मैं आपको भी उतनी इंपॉर्टेंस दे रहा हूं लेकिन अब इसको मैं अगर अपने एडवांटेज के लिए यूज करने लगू वोट बैंक के लिए पॉलिटिक्स के लिए यूज करने लगू तो वो गलत है आज आज जो लोग सेकुलरिज्म की बात करते हैं मैं आपको एक आई वॉन्ट टू से ऑनेस्टली क्योंकि स्टूडेंट्स हैं सेकुलरिज्म के नाम लेने के लोग इस फिल्म को इस्लामो फोबिया बोल रहे हैं राइट जिसने फिल्म देखी अपनी छाती में हाथ रखे ईमानदारी से बताओ फिल्म में कहीं मुस्लिम या पाकिस्तान के अगेंस्ट कुछ बोला गया तो फिर ये किसके दिमाग में घूम रहा है इस्लामो जो सेकुलरिज्म की बात करते हैं जहां एम्पथी नहीं होती वो सबसे ज्यादा एम्पथी की बात करते हैं जैसे अमेरिका जो लोग सेकुलर नहीं होते वो सबसे ज्यादा सेकुलरिज्म की बात करते हैं 
अपनी जो अपड़ लोग होते हैं जो पढ़े लिखे नहीं होते हैं अपनी नानियां दादियां माओ को देखो वो इतनी सेकुलर होती है उनको सिखाने की जरूरत नहीं है अब उनको जाकर तुम सेकुलरिज्म अगर सिखाओगे तो तो भारत का डीएनए है सेकुलरिज्म क्योंकि इसी देश में पूरे दुनिया में एकमात्र भारत ऐसा देश है जब लोग परसिक्यूट हुए ईरान इराक टर्की जहां पे तो भाग के इंडिया है हमने तो उनको शरण दी है और आज वो रहते हैं हजार साल तक भारत को हजार हजार साल तक पूरे वर्ल्ड की हिस्ट्री में पूरे वर्ल्ड की हिस्ट्री में एक भी ऐसी कंट्री नहीं है जिसको हजार साल माइनॉरिटीज ने रूल किया हो थाउजेंड ईयर्स और एक ही माइनॉरिटी ने नहीं पहले इस्लामिक माइनॉरिटी ने उसके बाद क्रिश्चियन माइनॉरिटी ने किया लेकिन जब हम आजाद हुए तो हमने क्या बोला कि तुम लोग के भी इक्वल राइट्स हैं ये हमारा डीएनए है और इसको, इसको बार 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 ये बोलना नहीं ये गलत है गलत वो गलत है ये वेस्टर्न सेक्युलरिज्म इंडिया में कभी वर्क ही नहीं करेगा हम लोग टॉलरेंट सोसाइटी नहीं है वेस्ट की तरह हम एक्सेप्टेंस में बिलीव करते हैं एक बार किसी को माना तो पूरी तरह अपना माना दैट इज वॉट अवर डी एन एज दैट इज टू से मेरा आपसे क्वेश्चन है कि जैसे कि कश्मीर फाइल इतनी ज्यादा चर्चे में है यहाँ तक कि हमारे प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने भी इसकी संसद में चर्चा की है तो क्या ये एक्सपेक्टेड था कि ये इस तरह से इस लेवल पे चर्चे में आएगी मुझे मुझे अंदाजा था मैं मुझे हमेशा लगता था कि लोग इतना थोड़ी अंदर से मर गए होंगे कि अगर ये फिल्म आएगी तो लोग कहेंगे हमें देखनी भी नहीं है आज भी मेरा आपसे ये सवाल है लाइक हम लोग जर्नलिज्म के स्कूल में तो हमारे लिए ये बहुत जरूरी है कि हम किसी भी चीज को सच्चाई दिखाने से डरे ना तो जब आप ये मूवी बना रहे थे आपको कहीं ना कहीं आइडिया तो होगा कि लोग क्रिटिसाइज करेंगे तो आपने अपने आप को कैसे समझाया कि ठीक है मतलब मैं फिर भी ये बनाने वाला हूँ तो ये मेरा फिर देखो क्या हुआ कि जब मैंने ये फिल्म मैंने अभी नाम बताया था डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र कौन को ने मुझसे बात बोली थी कि अगर मेरे जी आप भी नहीं बनाएंगे तो फिर क्या ये हम लोग हो फिर कोई फिर तो कोई और बनाएगा भी नहीं एंड दैट एट एक्चुअली हर्ट मी अलॉट कि ऐसा कैसे तो हमने जब किया था भी साइंड अप हो जैसे हमें पता था और इस फिल्म को करते करते बहुत सारी चीज़ें हुई फतवे भी इशू हुए तमाम थ्रेट्स डेथ थ्रेट्स ये वो गाली गलो सब कुछ हुआ इसमें बट वी हैड साइंड अप फॉर दिस जब हमने शुरू की हमें पता था ऐसा कुछ होगा तो मुझे इस बात का मलाल नहीं है कि ऐसा हुआ तो लेकिन अगर इस तरह की फिल्में बनानी है तो यू हैव टू फेस हेलो सर जैसे शाहरुख सोनी फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्टडीज एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज फॉर द बोल ऑफ यू मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है सर दिस इज कैंपस विद वेरी डाइवर्स डेमोग्राफी यू नो पीपल एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर हियर फ्रॉम ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री सो आपकी मूवी के बाद इट हैज इंक्रीज अ लॉट ऑफ डिबेट्स इन हियर इवन आई हैव गॉट इनटू मेनी सच डिबेट्स विद द माय कश्मीरी फ्रेंड्स या कश्मीरी फ्रेंड्स इन हियर एंड समहाउ दे थिंक दैट योर फिल्म इज अ थ्रेट टू सेक्युलरिज्म व्हाट वुड यू से ऑन दैट सी फिल्म की बात बाद में करते हैं पहले टेररिज्म की बात करते हैं टेररिज्म किस चीज को थ्रेट है पहले ये डिसाइड राइट right. तो पहले उसको खत्म करते हैं सेक्युलरिज्म बोल तो आइडियोलॉजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट है रियल कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं है सेक्युलरिज्म में आप बिलीव करें या ना करें उससे कोई मरता नहीं है किसी की प्रॉपर्टी नहीं खराब होती है लेकिन टेररिज्म से तो एक्चुअली लोग मरते हैं सोसाइटी खराब होती है तो पहले उसकी बात करते हैं तो अगर टेररिज्म गलत है तो पहले वी शुड एड्रेस दैट ऐसा तो नहीं हो सकता है कि हम टेररिज्म जो फिल्म में दिखाया उसकी बात ही नहीं करें और क्या सेक्युलरिज्म खराब कैसे सेक्युलरिज्म खराब हो रहा है आप मुझे बताइए एक एक स्टेट है जहां पे डाइवर्स लोग रहते थे बुद्धिस्ट लोग भी रहते थे क्रिश्चियंस भी रहते थे दलित भी रहते थे गुजर भी रहते थे सिख्स इतने सारे सिख्स रहते थे हिंदू भी रहते थे और मुस्लिम भी रहते थे आज वहां पे कोई नहीं रहता ऐसे मुस्लिम या नंबर्स में सौ दो हजार होंगे बट जनरली स्पीकिंग बिल्कुल इनसिग्निफिकेंट हो गया है अब सिख लोगों को भी मार डाला गुजर लोगों को भी मार डाला मुस्लिम्स को भी मार डाला कितने मुस्लिम्स मर गए उसमें क्रिश्चियंस को भी मार डाला दलितों को भी मार डाला औरतों को भी मार डाला बच्चों को भी मार डाला तो वो हाँ आपको सेक्युलरिज्म मरता हुआ नहीं नजर आ रहा है उसको तो आप डिफेंड करना चाहते हो लेकिन फिल्म बन गई उसके ऊपर मेरा नाम अक्षित है पहले तो मैं आपको पूरी टीम को बधाई देना चाहूंगा कश्मीर फाइल्स के लिए और मैं जो मूवी से इतना प्रभावित हुआ मैंने पांच बार जाके थिएटर में मूवी देखी और मेरा क्वेश्चन यह है 
जो सबसे मेन प्रॉब्लम है इंडिया में वो है अपनी हिस्ट्री से रिलेटेड क्योंकि जो हमने बुक में पढ़ा है वो सारी हमने गलत हिस्ट्री पढ़ी है ज्यादा तक तो जो मीडिया है सॉरी जो मूवी है मूवी उस चीज को सही करके दिखा सकती है क्योंकि अगर जब इस चीज का प्रचार करने चले गए तो पांच से साल ज्यादा साल भी लग सकते हैं बट एक जो मूवी है मूवी ने आपकी जो मूवी थी इसने इतनी जल्दी सारी हिस्ट्री दिखाई सही करके तो मेरा आपसे मतलब कि निवेदन है कि क्या आप जितनी भी हमारी हिस्ट्री गलत तरीके से दिखाई गई है क्या उसको आप मूवी में सही करके दिखाओगे अरे मैं हिस्टोरियन नहीं भैया मैं जिम्मानी लेना चाहता हूँ निकाला जाता है तो उनके बीच में एंगल होता है एग्रेशन होता है बट मेरा एक ही दिला ये मूवी बहुत वॉटरफुल थी लेकिन जो कश्मीरी पंडित के साथ होते हैं वो बहुत गलत हो गया लेकिन उस टाइम पे कश्मीरी मुस्लिम्स के साथ भी बहुत गलत हो गया अगर वो भी दिखाया जाता Sir, I'm also from Kashmir. My name is Toyba. Uh, it was a very wonderful movie, but uh, there is something I think that's missing in the movie. Though it was very wonderful, what was missing is that we were always sympathetic towards them. They were terrorists, but they were Muslims. We have still our Pandit friends, neighbors. I believe we as neighbors failed to protect them, but we never wanted them to leave. And I think nowhere in the movie it has been shown that we never wanted them to leave. And so I am requesting you that you were talking about your book, you were uh, you are about to write a book on it. Please add it that we want them back and we never wanted them to leave. That's it. Thank Good. You. Okay. Okay. Please, please just, 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 please no disturbance because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very important question and bad job it has done to you. It's a very important uh, and I want to give it uh, uh, what the respect and dignity deserves the answer. I am thankful to you that you believe that I am a responsible person and you want to believe that I am that person who is chosen to tell these stories. Thank you. If you are saying something is missing in this film, yes, it is missing. But it's not that this story is not being told. There have been eight films before this, and huge big films, hundred hundred crores. Uh, Roja, Fiza, Fana, Mission Kashmir, Heather. They were all made during that period, exactly in nineties. Those films were set in nineties. They did not even mention the genocide. Or exodus, or whatever term you want to call it, they did not even acknowledge it. Did you feel exactly the way you are feeling now? Did you feel bad that they missed out on something? Did you ask Vishal Bharat Dwaj or will you write a letter to him, ask him something is missing? I am just asking you. Right. So, 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 what I am saying is, you perhaps you did not even notice that before me telling you this. Am I right? Because, because no eight great films, big films, celebrated films, which I know in Kashmir everybody loves those films, they justify terrorism. And because of that terrorism, see, it's very important for you to understand. I love you. Because of that terrorism, your families, your uncles, your aunts, your cousins have been killed and suffered. Today, Kashmir is poor. There is no diversity in Kashmir and don't you feel so sad that Kashmir files can't be seen in Kashmir because there is no cinema all in Kashmir. Right? So terrorism, you have suffered more than anybody else. But those films justify terrorism. 
and they justify terrorism without even knowing anything about terrorists. It's not that like me they went and interviewed even seven, seven terrorists. They did not go and live with terrorists and understood what their psyche and they created a fake narrative that people pick up guns because they are oppressed. Osama bin Laden wasn't oppressed, he was a prince. Ha Hafiz Saeed wasn't uh, 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 oppressed. Burhan Wani wasn't oppressed. Abzal Guru wasn't uh, oppressed. Terrorists are never in the history of terrorism, not even one terrorist was ever oppressed. I have, I have, I have, I have bio, uh, biographies of all of them. You, what you are saying is right. But my film at least says in the end that not only Hindus, even Muslims, Buddhists, Christians, Sikhs, everybody was killed in this. Did I say that or not honestly? I did. All the seven, eight films which I named, did they even say a word like that, that Hindus were also killed? Bro, so first you raise your voice about that lie and then you come and tell me what is missing out. I have made this film for you so that you understand the face of terrorism. And why do you have to understand terrorism only by showing a Muslim killing? Don't you have empathy for Hindus? Why don't you stand up against terrorism in Kashmir? Why don't you go back and make videos and send back and say terrorism is wrong? And why? When you won't do that, trust me, listen to me. And I'm saying it, I have never ever spoken on public stage like this. I'm saying it because my heart is full of love for you. You don't know how many Kashmiri Muslim students and young boys and writers and singers we are working with. Hum dekhenge bomb songs which she was singing. Deliberately we have used a singer from Kashmir Muslim. Yeah. No, 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 that's a lyricist. Right? Do you understand that? Listen to me. If you won't stand up against terrorism, the world will keep associating terrorism with Islam. And which is wrong. Because Muslims are not terrorists, they are good people, very God-fearing people, very kind people. I work with them all the time. Half of my family is married into Muslims. Some of my best, closest childhood friends are Muslims. I love them. But it is your responsibility now to stand up and tell the world, I am a Muslim, I do not support terrorism. Go and write this on social media tonight. So, before telling anybody something is better, Young Kashmiri Muslim boys and girls yeah, are so I creative. Have so you heard their music? Them. Have you heard their music? Their music is hundred times better than Bollywood music. No, their literature. They are poetry. The kind of work they are doing, but the only problem is, as long as it's going to be you versus us, there is not going to be any solution, and Kashmir will keep suffering. It's bleeding. Stop that. I think that is very important to understand that like Gohar, they belong to a generation that has not seen a diverse Kashmir, that does not know what it was like to have pundits as their neighbors. So, uh, we, it should be acknowledged. Yeah, just a couple of last questions, I think, and then we have to wrap up. Yeah, you want to, you want to decide? Yeah. I would like to ask the same questions to all the filmmakers, you know. Why don't you call me? I'm a, I'm a pretty good actor, you know, I can do my job well. <laughs>
to tears, but also to understand the suffering of each other.